morning. Welcome to the Mixing Ball Homestead. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tour of our food pantry. Now, this room is, I believe, um, half of what was a two-car garage. The other half um, I converted into my home office. And some of the prior owners or somewhere along the line, they converted this rooms um, into two separate, this garage into two separate rooms. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, with our freezers. We do have three freezers, two chest freezers and one standing freezer. And this freezer mains, mainly holds our beef that we purchase most, um, all of our beef we, we, beef we purchase from Slego Farms. And again, guys, if you are in the, uh, in the area, this is um, their address and phone number. Uh, please pay them a visit, give them a call and find out what their schedule is. Um, and we have, you know, other things here that we hold. This is just um, ice, just for emergency purposes. You never know when you're gonna need it. Um, and this I got um, from the international food market is cow food and cow skin, as well as goat meat um, for my husband, Nigerian dishes. I do have some tomatoes here, they're frozen, um, but, and some bread pizza and you know stuff that the kids need and leftover um, meats that I've cooked this is uh, ropa vieja it's a Panamanian dish um, and my ginger paste and sliced ginger so but for the most part this is just um, or these are my Panamanian um, dulce de frutas and fruitcake and our hamburger hamburger meat so that is basically what this freezer is and I have some tomato juice from the tomatoes that I processed the other day one batch of tomato juice but I need to process this so I have it out I need to make more space in my freezer because we do have more meat coming and I also took out four, two, three, three. I also took out three of these briskets and this are briskets and this are gonna be, um, I'm gonna can some corned beef. So I need to defrost this meat. Um, but in the meantime, I have to get my husband to move these things because they're quite heavy and I can't hold those. Um, but this freezer right here holds um, all of our fruit and some of our breads and at the bottom of this uh, freezer i have all of my pork so we purchased an entire pig um, that was harvested and it's here at the bottom of this um, but these are fruits that we um froze some candlewood um, because we want to be able to have some of our summer uh, fruits during the cold winter months and as well as some um peaches and this is Canary melon. You guys, canary melon is my favorite melon. So from now on, I'm not buying any more cantaloupe. I'm gonna be buying um, yellow canary melon. Okay, so in this freezer, another gallon of water. <laughs> so I have some vegetables and some of my Goya fruits that I use to make um, duros. That's a Panamanian treat for the kids. Um, so I'll make those. That's just a, like a like a frozen, um, like a popsicle, but we call it doodles. And this is my chicken. Um, everything here is just chicken and turkey. Uh, and of course, um, these breads that I have here. So this is where I host all of my jars and my empty boxes. And on top of that is, now this is gonna be a big birthday. <laughs> all right, homestead heart. Remember that pod that I was telling you? Yeah, there you go. Get a good look at that big monster. So that's that's my big Bertha right you there. You guys, like this, this cannot go on your stove. It has to go outdoors. So we either have like some bricks and some, you know, wood under it or, you know, a burner with, you know, anyway, it has to cook outside. There is no way 
on earth that this can go on a stove top, a glass top, or even gas. It's just, it's not working, it's not happening. So, all right, Homestead Heart, next time I go to Panama, I'll remember you. You might end up with a big Bertha. You gonna need it. But anyway, <laughs> so these are all of my canning jars and um, I keep them in here. It's just easy for me to, um, to pick up. And you guys, excuse this, you know, as you know, we moved here last year and we have stuff that we still sorting out. So all of that stuff is going to Goodwill. Most of it is um, kids clothes and toys and stuff that um, my kids, you know, are no longer gonna use. So we're gonna bless somewhat up somebody else with. But at the bottom of that is where I keep all of my rings and some thermos. And these are some additional canning supplies that I have and my jars. I do need to get some more quart size jars because I am running out and I also need to get um, this size um, jars. I don't know how many ounces is here, but I need to get some more of those. I have none, so I have to get some more of the half pint jars. I only have um, two boxes and I keep my, my boxes when I go to um, Slego Farms, I keep my boxes because I find that they, they come out handy when I am, um, whoops, I, I find out that they come out handy when I go to um, do anything outdoors with my husband, um, you know, it, it's easier for him to carry um, things, you know, in these boxes. So on this side, we have a container with a mailer bag, mailer bag that has salt, and you know guys, salt does not expire. We have a cooler at the bottom, and my husband says I hoard containers, but I am planning on reusing this. So and this right here is my juice steamer. That was a gift from my 14-year-old, I think for Christmas on our birthday. I'm pretty sure it was Christmas, um, but she gave me that. And then I have this Keurig machine here that I cracked and broke the, the water reservoir. So I'm trying to find another water reservoir for it. And these are just my used lids and those plastic lids and jars that I repurposed. That's my dehydrator. My uh, I use this bowl when I'm making my breads uh, or if I'm marinating anything, my sifter, my bowl. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm, I'm already getting tired. I've been up for only two hours and I'm telling you, the, if it's just, anyway, this long-term COVID thing is a mess. But um, this is my, I think this is my Montel Williams. Yes, so this is my Montel Williams uh, mixed uh, blender. I think somebody that um, recognized this is gonna say something in the comments. And so this is a gift from my, my oldest son who is in the military. Isaiah, hello. And uh, I love this air fryer. And he also gave me this instant pot um, along with um, these accessories for this um, air fryer. So here has some more pots that I use for cooking on a daily basis. And this is a stove pot. No, this is a slow cooker uh, that my friend Adela gave me. I have two of my stock pots are there. And I have my Presto 23 port capacity. And there you go, Homestead Heart. There's another one. You see that? Now those right there, they need to be clean and um, cured again. These are all our personal um, care items that we use. So that's our store. <laughs> and you guys, this is some Sorel. I'm making Sorel wine. Um, so that has to stay there for several years. And so just some over-the-counter medication, toiletries, and this is stuff. Oh, oh my freezer is beeping. And these are just, you know, things that I use um, when I have company over, which is very seldom. And my baking dishes. And here we go, we have some seasonings. And my, my gallon bags, my gloves, and my quarter um, bags, foil, and plastic wrap, and paper out, and wax paper. And you guys, I picked these things up from the dollar store. And they're for hamburgers, but I love using this thing when I'm making my homemade tortillas, my Panamanian tortillas. I'll show you a video how to do those one day. Um, and there you go. This is my um, tomato juice. This one was done in April, and these are the ones that, well, actually, yeah, 
all of those were done in April and these ones right here are the ones that we did um, the other day so we did those on August 3rd so we have some seasoning some spices some more seasonings and this is my husband's egusi for his Nigerian dish there's some more in the back and some of our other things that we use for baking and our juice you guys get your lemon juice because you never know when you're gonna need it and some more condiments and I have this drinks I don't feed this to my kids um, on a daily basis but in this one are when we do go out somewhere I like to have some type of little drinks for them in the car but this one's right here for emergency you guys and that's my water my coconut water and some apple juice at the bottom and tea and I am getting exhausted so I'm going to pause um, and you guys this is my drying rack for my herbs let me turn this uh, close this uh, freezer door I have to excuse me my voice is going I'm trying to finish this uh, my hands are starting to shake so I apologize um, so these are my oregano and sage that I harvested um, from my um, garden outside and so I just had them here they are dry and they are ready um, to be taken out and placed into um, jars that I'm gonna be using them for you know my daily cooking <clears throat> um, but here I have the peaches that I put out the other day you guys check out that um, check out that video and these are um, pineapple um, this is pineapple jam that I learned to can with homestead hard and this is um, peach jelly that I learned and this is my butter I gar I did garlic butter um, and I learned this also um, how to can butter from homestead heart um, and I feel confident um, that this is safe for my family I'm not telling you to go and can butter um, but this is what like she said this works for my family and I'm okay with that um, all right guys so I'm gonna have to stop right here my hands are very shaky and I've only been up for two hours um, but I'm doing too much and this is what happens with this long COVID um, when I'm trying to resume my normal life I feel like I have energy when I wake up but then you know one hour two hours sometimes even 30 minutes you know into me steadily up on my feet or moving then this is what happens so I cracked one of the um, peach pineapple butters that I made and so I'm going to stop I don't want to um, you know damage anything else and I will resume the pantry tour um, once I feel a little bit better in a couple hours and so this is um, jelly this this was a gift from our church uh, during the first few months of the pandemic they gifted us a lot of food so I can go for my Dedan family and so this I have to feel I don't I'm not really comfortable seeing this empty spots right here um, especially with the way things are going right now so I have to uh, feel some more um, put some more food in here and this grits they're going to move out of here and they are going to go into a five gallon bucket um, we have to buy um, five more bags in order to be able to fill up a five gallon bucket this are um, you know milk and our peanut butter and jelly also gift from our church uh, now we went to a restaurant uh, i think it's called restaurant depot and we purchased um, this honey it was six of them but we've already used two also cereal and um so these are some mixed vegetables that i can when did i can this piece? so this was this is 2020 June I'm sorry July 13 2020 um, I think I only have about three left and the same thing with these beans and I also learned how to can those on um, following homestead hard um, and this is my brisket that I canned um, last month and Italian wedding soup and this is our um, some rice parboiled rice and oil and down there we have some orso and this container here has all of my husband's fufu, different types of fufu. It's just something that he eats um, with his with his meals. One is made with cassava and the other one is made with pounded yams. 
and uh, more canned goods. And these are the um, these are these two tomatoes um, that I did the other day. <clears throat> and these are the tomato um, sauce. I'm not spaghetti sauce. You guys, look how thick this is. This is my spaghetti sauce. And I do have rings here, as you can see at the bottom, but they are not screwed all the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not screwed all the way. Um, and that's just to, to help support this. I don't want to place them directly on the, the lid of this jar. So here is the tomato paste that I did, um, that I put the video out the other day. We had nine um, half a pine jars, but we only have three left. We use one, two away. And these are the ones from the first batch that I made in April. So I only have um, two left. And my leaf lard, I have only one left and this is from April as well and some more pasta and that is just about it you guys um, this is some just birthday Christmas gift wrapping stuff now I have my um, jasmine rice so all of those containers at the bottom are jasmine rice um, this is a container of sugar there's it's in a Miler bag um, and this one is I, I can't touch this this is um this is parboiled rice um and i have different types of beans here um lentils black eyed peas um garbanzo lentils my old corn for my tortillas my panamanian tortillas i have some pasta um and there i have you guys i have a problem i i have a whole container of panamanian coffee now you know they don't sell no Panamanian coffee here in the U.S. So yeah, I got a problem. And that is oats. And that is it, you guys. Um, the other side of this room, the other half of the room, um, is where I have my um, my sis starting station. Um, so I will show you guys in a different um, video. I need to go lay my tail down somewhere. <laughs>